Hello, I'm Reverend Jim Beringer, Director of Well Special Ministries. More than 60 years ago, women of the Lutheran Women's Missionary Society stepped up to inaugurate our Synod's Mission for the Visually Impaired. Many women learned Braille. Countless others helped manage the ministry. Their first project was a Braille version of the Catechism. Then they moved into audiobooks and beyond. Today, the ministry continues to grow thanks to new technologies and an eagerness to spread the gospel. When Pastor Tim Redfield and his wife Megan adopted Libby, they knew she had a number of challenges that included blindness. <laughs> High five. <laughs> Find my hand. High five. <laughs> High five. And they also learned she has some special gifts, which became clear one day when she started playing songs on the piano, even though she'd never had a lesson. And Megan and I were just shocked. She listens, takes it in, never had any lessons, uh, and, and plays beautiful music. Uh, so I definitely, my prayer for her is that she can use her musical gifts to serve the church in some way. While Libby may indeed serve the church someday, the more immediate question is, how can we in the church serve her and the many thousands like her who have visual impairments? Part of the answer is here, at the Wells Visually Impaired Workshop in Minnesota, where volunteers gather to convert synod materials into braille, large print, and audio, materials that are used all over the world. The need is bigger than what most people think. Every single congregation has somebody or several people that are visually impaired. 24-30. That's it. That's it. The materials created here can help connect the visually impaired to the larger community of believers. Capital Sun. I lost my vision. It'll be 13 years next month. If you wanted to go look up um, a passage or you, or you were at church and wanted to sing, what, do you, what happens when you can't see that anymore? You start losing that peace and you start losing the connection that you have and giving them something that they can hang on to and count on, very important. That helpful attitude, that's what kind of runs through all of our volunteers. They, they really enjoy knowing that what they're doing is going to get the word to someone else. This is the listen.wells.net right. page. This will... It's a time of great opportunity for this ministry as new technologies allow us to multiply our reach. Here, a team in Milwaukee is connecting Wells Publications to an Amazon service called Polly that will read our Synod's books out loud for users at no additional cost. We want to translate the entire People's Bible using the Amazon Polly, so you don't actually need the reader someone actually reading the document, but rather we're using the computer to, to read it. It's just been really refreshing to listen, to have the opportunity to listen to God's Word. What a wonderful blessing to have these, you know, doctrinally sound, these biblically sound um, resources available for our daughter, but also for so many other people that they can make use of the resources. Whether it's our youngest members, our oldest members, or people who are not members at all. Wells' mission for the vision impaired is bringing the gospel to the world. Wells' mission for the visually impaired is run by volunteers, people like you who are committed to this important work. Today, it's easier than ever to be part of this ministry because much of the work can be done from home. We want to thank you, the members of LWMS who have been with us from the beginning.